Hey guys, coming in hot with a new video. Last video was all about control. I want to control you, you want to control me. It all begins with controlling myself. That's where we are today. We're talking about biomechanics in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I am not a professional physiotherapist. I am not a doctor. I have been exercising, lifting weights, um, competing competitively since I was a child. I'm a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I have a lot of experience and I've done a ton of research. So what I want to do today is just bring to you a couple of basic concepts that can help you to understand the body and what we're trying to achieve biomechanically in Jiu Jitsu so we can be effective and prevent ourselves from getting injuries or at least mitigate the risk of injuries. Okay. So two concepts today. One first concept is I want to maintain proximal stability and distal mobility. The second concept is I want to use my biggest, most proximal muscles when performing any task in Jiu Jitsu. Okay. Proximal closer to the center line of the body, distal further away from that center line, proximal stability. I want to make sure my spine and my core is stable, distal mobility. I want my joints, my shoulders and my hips particularly, and everything down the chain from there to have adequate mobility to allow me to maintain a neutral spine position as I move dynamically in Jiu Jitsu. So in a perfect world, my, my spine basically stays locked out in its anatomical position. Now, of course, in jujitsu, this isn't always possible. I have to flex my spine. Sometimes I have to extend my spine or sometimes even slightly rotate my spine. According to people who have studied this much more than I have, and who are super respected in the industry, specifically Stuart McGill, we can condition our spines to function uh, well in a rounded position, in an extended position, in a rotated position, as long as we understand that first, we have to, again, condition our spine to do that. We have to become strong and mobile in those positions. We have to teach our body to move in that way. All right. So for example, a strength athlete, like a super, super strong athlete, who's deadlifting a thousand pounds, they're locked in that position all the time. Okay. Their spine is locked out, super stable, but there's virtually no mobility. They can't move their spine. On the other side of the spectrum, and I'm stealing directly from Stuart McGill here, he talks about belly dancers. Belly dancers can articulate their spine like crazy and move it around a ton, but they have virtually no strength. Okay, so it's this bit of a continuum here between stability and mobility. We want to make sure as jujitsu athletes, we're maintaining stability in our spinal column, in our core, to make sure we're able to generate and absorb force so we can use our body effectively. But we also need to recognize that we have to teach our body to be mobile and strong in those mobile positions because we're going to be in positions where our spine is bending and we want to make sure we're conditioned to do that. Okay. So, so proximal stability, distal mobility, mobility in our hips, mobility in our shoulders. If our shoulders and our hips are tight, we're likely going to compensate in movement with our spine. Okay. Which again is not efficient. It's going to make us weaker. So we want to make sure our hips are mobile enough and our shoulders are mobile enough and everything down the chain so that we can move in a way that's really dynamic while maintaining that neutral spinal position. If we can't maintain the neutral spinal position, recognize that the further you get away from that, the more likely you are to injure and the less strong you're going to be. These are general rules. Everyone is different. These rules apply differently to everyone, but everything I'm saying, I'm trying to say in a way that is generally true across the board and is sound advice for using your body in jujitsu. All right. So next up is the idea of using your biggest, most proximal muscles to perform whatever task it is you're trying to perform. If I want to say, finish a heel hook, I use my distal faculties, my arms, and my legs to sort of wrap up your leg to get into a position where now I'm holding onto you pretty tight. But if I want to break, if I'm looking for breaking mechanics, I want to employ the strongest, most or largest, most proximal muscles in my body. So, my glutes are huge proximal muscles. Your back is, has a bunch of different large proximal muscles, including your lats. All right. Your shoulders are pretty big and pretty close to your center line. Same with your chest. All right. Your quads, your hamstrings. We're trying to employ the largest, most proximal muscles to perform whatever task it is we're performing in jujitsu or really in everyday life. Okay. So these are a couple principles in biomechanics that we can use in jujitsu. Basically, we're trying to keep our spine safe. We're trying to keep our body strong, mobilize your joints so that your core can stay relatively stable. Okay. And try, if you're trying to work on finishing an arm bar or finishing a rear naked choke, imagine, you know, what muscles am I using? Can I better program myself to use the more appropriate muscles? The more appropriate muscle is going to be the largest muscle that's closest to your center line. Okay, your glutes are going to come first and foremost. Um, there can be arguments obviously made on this. Your 
quads are going to be a close second likely to your glutes the musculature in your back including your spinal erectors and your lats are going to be larger more proximal muscles okay so it's for you to break that down depending on the particular position but we want to maintain that neutral position in our spine we can flex or extend our spine but we have to condition ourselves to be able to do that and we need to work on our core musculature to make sure we're able to perform those movements dynamically while another person is trying to kill us okay Proximal stability, distal mobility. Try to use the largest, most proximal muscles in your body when performing any task in jiu-jitsu. This will help you to avoid injury and it will help you to use your body in the most effective and efficient way.